So Melbourne City, they've got one thing on their minds this season, revenge. They're going to come out bristling in round one against Western United. Uh, they beat them pretty convincingly in last year's grand final, didn't they, Thomas? Um, you've played alongside Paddy Kisnorbo. You've seen him coach pretty closely. He was an absolute warrior on the field. Um, what will he be telling his players leading into round one? Yeah, get off for this game. You know, talk about the, the feelings that the players had in the dressing room of losing that grand final and the way they lost it, uh, the way they finished last season. I think, uh, you know, there was something missing there. The, the, you know, just a bit of passion, a bit of urgency. Uh, it wasn't the same team that, that you saw earlier in the season. Uh, and, and, you know, Patrick is all about the passion. You know, the, as, as he was as a player, he's the same person as a manager. Uh, and, and he needs to get them fired up. Uh, you know, you can't have players focusing on, you know, World Cup squads or, you know, what, what am I going to do later in the year? What a great thing uh, to go to Qatar. No, it's about that first game. It's about getting off to a great start. Uh, and it's a great opportunity for them um, because, uh, you know, again, they didn't have the greatest run in the FFA Cup. Um, so they need to, with, uh, with that squad they have, they, they, they need to be aiming at top two again. Uh, and they need to beat Western United to do that. It sums up how far they've come as a club, doesn't it, Zappa? Because only a few years ago, um, pretty much around the time Thomas arrived to play with the club, they were really struggling. They really went missing in those big games, the big occasions. But uh, now there is an expectation that this club gets to the grand final, wins titles, um, yeah, is around the top. But look at their squad. And, and there is an expectation because their squad's one of the strongest um, we've seen in uh, in the A-League. And uh, the, the players they've brought in this season are, are impressive as well. The three overseas recruits, uh, Richard van der Ven, um, you've got Thomas Lam and Valon Barisha. Barisha has been very impressive in the preseason. I've spoke to Melbourne City and uh, they rate him very highly. Uh, if you if you're looking for an early contender for uh, the Johnny Warren Medal, perhaps Valon Barisha, from what I'm hearing, could be someone who will will be outstanding for them this year. Played I'm hearing he's impressive on and off the field. I'm hearing his dress sense is unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't win you any medals though. Yeah. But it's, it's great to talk about. But he's. Touch and uh, he's played at uh, some big clubs in Europe at Leipzig. He played at Lazio in the Serie A. He's he's a, a very impressive signing for me. So uh, that midfield is going to see a real transition for them this year. How they settle in early will be a key. It might take a little bit of time for them to settle, but uh, uh, you look at the the midfield. It will be a completely different midfield. Uh, Griffiths is obviously gone. Yeah. Uh, Connor Metcalf is gone. So there'll be a, a huge transition there. So how they manage those three new players will be uh, key in the first part of the season. This season's played in two parts so their first seven weeks uh, can they hit their straps with that new midfield and they'll have a lot of players in the Socceroo squad uh, recent teams will uh, you know obviously uh, confirm that but uh, Aidan O'Neill is another one who was kind of on the fringes I guess he was always in the Socceroo squad uh, the Oliroo squad rather with with Arnie but his return is really important for them isn't it yeah I think he was a big big miss for them last season uh, you know just sitting in that holding role and also being a, a, a station in, in a passing game, you know, just, you know, being that anchor, but also the, the, the player that, you know, can pass the ball, ball forward to him and Curtis Good, I think, are, are key to, to build up. Um, so so for, to, to have him back uh, is crucial. How they're going to, like you said, sap us out, how they're going to structure it, who's going to be the holding, or is it going to be a mixed, uh, you know, you'll expect Berengue to, to, to be the... You know the front of the, of that uh, triangle, but um, you know I'm, I'm excited. Um, you know I think they've they've recruited well. Lamb, you know, as Finnish international. You know where does he slot in? Uh, it, it just gives them uh, a bit of depth, uh, which you need over a long season. Yeah, and I think you'll compete with uh, Aiden O'Neill. So Thomas Lamb can play as a six, and that's mm -hmm. where he's been playing in the preseason. But he can play as a centre back as well. So uh, obviously you've got to Curtis Gould and Nuno Raish as the two centre that's halves. Griffith uh, replacement then. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so he can yeah fill both roles. Mm -hmm. Marco Tilio, we love a young, up-and-coming Australian player, and uh, he didn't muck around from the get-go. He came in two seasons ago, the end of the season, and, and dominated um, in the final series and in scores for the Holly Roos against Argentina, if you don't mind. And last season, we maybe expected him to play a little bit more football. He has made his Socceroos debut, played a few games for them. Thomas, where do you see... Marco Tilio slotting in this season. Can you see him taking the next step? He needs to. I think uh, you know. Can he, he's been sort of on and off, uh, 
you know, not playing from the start in, in a lot of games. You know, he needs to start pushing uh, Matthew Lecky, um, you know, Berengay. Um, you know, it, it's it's a tough, <laughs> you know, you look at that front line and, and McLaren as well, Naboot. If, you know, he's probably at the worst place <laughs> in the league that you can be, you know, because everyone in front of you or alongside you are Socceroos. Um, and, and that makes it uh, extremely tough. Um, but it is about him to, to go to that next level and, and find consistency as well. I think there was a little bit of a drop off uh, last last year. Going into finals, I think he, he got lost in a few games, and uh, you know that spark he had when he came in initially, um, I didn't see it, you know, regularly enough. And I think that's where he, he just got a reset. And 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 this season, you know, you, you got to come out uh, flying because the pressure will be on in this in the Socceroos uh, squad as well. There'll be other players trying to to get his spot. It's a fascinating um, debate, isn't it? Because he's a young kid; he's twenty one. And uh, as you said, in, in the front three are all Socceroos. Uh, Andrew Naboot, not in the last squad. But yeah, he, he's been around. So as a 21-year-old, would you rather be at a Melbourne City where you've got great coaches and, and great education and great everything? Or would you go? Would you rather go to a Newcastle Jets? No offence to Newcastle, but you're going to get game time. You're going to play every week on one of those smaller clubs. So as one of the uh, younger players in the squad, um, he's in a great environment, but Right now, he'd rather be, want to be playing every week young, and starting every week. Young players prefer games, don't they? They need games. Yeah, but we've got to remember that he came from Sydney. He was trying to get out, and he yeah. actually made his name at Melbourne City. So, you know, I agree. Eventually, you know, if he doesn't get more game time, he'll have to move on, and, and that's the way football goes. But I think he's got a great chance this this year with, with the World Cup as a massive carrot. Um, but, yeah, he, he needs to start the season really well. We've barely touched on Jamie McLaren. We know he's going to bang away <laughs> goals for fun. He's going to be right up there, uh, eager to win another golden boot. But uh, boys, what are you expecting from City? What's your tip this season? You know, I'm 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 really looking forward to seeing their start. Um, you know, because as as I said, I feel it's been a little bit um, below par. Uh, so hopefully they they come out fired fired up and ready to to take on the challenge. But you know, with the squad they they had, we've touched on it. They they have to be top two. Um, it's always t tight to, to, to win a, a title, but uh, yeah, for, for me, top two is a must. Where will they finish, Thomas? Come on, get off the oh. fence. <laughs> they'll uh, win, uh, they'll, they'll finish first, and then we'll see you in the finals. All right. Very good. <laughs> we, are, we are very Melbourne centric here. <laughs> <We are. laughs> Deliberately. He is a former Melbourne City player. I know it's a tough hey, I'm one. I'm a bit biased there. <laughs> yeah. But for me, they'll finish second. Yep. They'll be very strong, but I think there'll be one team that uh, will, will, will pip them to the post.